wow is all I can say. This hay dried out really nice over the past two days. And we have got a ton of it out here. My brother's finishing up now, raking this last little section. I just took a break off the tractor and the boys are getting a little bit here that got missed. I uh, have a few spokes that broke on the rake. But uh, this is an impressive amount of hay. I'm excited. This is about four or five feet wide here. I'm hoping I didn't make this windrow too big. <laughs> Look at all the hay. Perfect weather too. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. Baling hay last night. I bailed for about 20 minutes and never had any indicator lights come on. No sign of anything. The tractor was working perfectly. Was bailing right through here. All of a sudden, the tractor started making a funny sound, a knocking sound, and blowing out a ton of blue smoke out of the exhaust. Freaked me out. I immediately killed the engine and. It took it a second to turn off because I forgot to disengage the PTO. But regardless, if it cut off, we, uh, I mean, it, it, I jumped out and got in the smoke and smelled it. And it, it, it was hard to describe what it smelled like. I mean, kind of like a burning diesel or burning oil mix. So check fluids, totally fine on water, which I checked every time because when I bought the tractor that was one thing that the guy the salesman told me was one thing that's not covered under warranty is if you don't check your water and you run it out of water and you and you cook the engine that's not covered so I check my water religiously because I'm paranoid about it every time I use my tractor I you I rinse out the radiator with a hose make sure it's all clean and nice so I know that's not the issue same with the oil I had the, the service done at Rural King and they changed the oil for me did all that at the the 50 hour service the next service coming up is at 300 hours I'm at 240 hours so I'm not even to the next service yet I checked the oil after this was done and first it was showing like it was low so I ran to town grabbed some oil because I'm like I don't I don't understand that 
but by the time I got back, it was actually, it wasn't low. So what had happened was it just wasn't showing on the stick right. You couldn't see it because the low light. It's actually overfilled and it's super runny. Well, my last John Deere tractor did that. It was the injector pump that was the problem. So I'm, I'm wondering if the injector pump went bad on it. I am not a mechanic, so I really don't know. And I'm scared to move it. So I'm gonna just put the hood down on it. I'm gonna disconnect it from my baler. I'm gonna put it in neutral and I'm gonna pull it over here out of the way. My brother's been gracious enough to offer to come with his tractor and he's gonna bail the rest of the field up for us this afternoon. So for that, I'm grateful. I can't describe how bummed I am right now that I don't have a tractor. <laughs> That's a lot of money to pay for a tractor for it to be sitting here with the hood up and then you can't use it. So this has not been the the greatest week for, it seems like all kind of stuff's went south on us this week, but that's all right. God's still in control. So we're going to get this disconnected, get it moved out of the way so we, uh, we can get his tractor hooked up to it and uh, get this rest of this field picked up. It is just not natural pulling on a brand new tractor <laughs> Ugh, i hate it but there ain't nothing i can do about it so we actually just got a call back from real camp and they're gonna get with us on monday apparently the mechanics they can't even get them on the phone today so it'll be monday before we hear anything we do know they're about three weeks out on mechanic work so we're gonna be we're gonna be without our tractor for a while it's gonna be interesting so I've sung Real King's praises for a long time on these tractors and their customer service. I'm very interested to see how this pans out. I hope, I hope it pans out good and they're willing to fix the issue, whatever it may be. Uh, we're going to try out their warranty and see how, how they're, uh, when there's a big problem, how it goes. So it's, it's easy to be good at customer service when the, uh, when there are no problems but let's see what how it works with problems so i have high hopes i have high hopes so we shall see we'll see if they've got a loaner tractor that we can get maybe in the meantime uh to help with our farm work and everything because it's kind of an essential item at this point around here I'm so excited. We got one wind row left. Look at all the hay out there. That is unbelievable. I don't even know how many bales that is right now. We'll have to go and count when we're loading, but this is uh, the most we've ever gotten by far.
Well, that is a wrap. We are shot. <laughs> oh, man. My brother's tractor performed perfectly. It didn't it didn't have any issues at all running our baler. I was not sure how it would work because their tractor's actually his tractor's a uh, 1920, which I think is a 32 horsepower at the PTO. And ours is 37. Um, so I wasn't sure how that was going to work. Man, it, it, it did great. It didn't bog at all. It was, it was perfect. So I am so thankful for him for coming and doing that for us. And uh, we got it all bailed and all picked up. I ran out of string about five bales from the end. I do have reserve string, but it's smaller stuff, and I don't really like using it because it's rough on your hands and it don't tie right. So, but we uh, we got 221 bales off of our field this time. The most I've ever gotten is 86, I think. I'd have to look back at my last year's videos, but uh, this was a bountiful year, and man, what a blessing! 221 square bales. The resale value on that <laughs> has me tempted to sell some of it instead of feeding it all to my cows, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm just thankful to have it done. We're going to wrap this video up for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our channel. We'll see you next time.